We're following developing news in West Hartford. Police are working to find a motive after police say a boy stabbed and killed his sister and wounded his mother. Now grief counselors will be providing help at schools. Police tell us the crime happened yesterday at a home on Stoner Drive. That's right off of Mountain Road. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live at the home where police have been there for hours. Carolina. Good morning. Well, police tell us that this is the first time they can remember a call for service to this address and that call for help and that plea was made by the mother who reported that her son stabbed her and his sister. A domestic dispute turned fatal. A boy is accused of attacking his sister and mother. His sister died at St. Francis Hospital. He was taken to Connecticut Children's Medical Center in Hartford for a minor injury. Their mother remains in stable condition at St. Francis Hospital. Police aren't releasing the names or ages of those involved, but those who knew the family are grappling with what happened. I just can't imagine anything more tragic. I just imagine that the whole street is reeling with this. Police are continuing to investigate this deadly stabbing. He is expected in court later today. The West Hartford superintendent called families yesterday extending support. There will be grief counselors at different campuses today. Reporting in West Hartford, I'm Carolina Cruz for Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Carolina, thank you. Parents may be wondering how to explain what happened to their children this morning. Mental health experts say the first step is having a conversation. Doctors recommend that parents should stick to the facts and show emotional support for your child and others who are grieving. Focus more on validation of feelings um, as opposed to, you know, again, going into motives and going into other things that you have no idea about. Psychologist Laura Saunders says if you know the affected family, check in with your kids and ask how they're holding up, but don't push too hard if they don't want to talk about it. For more information on this story, head to our Channel 3 app.